everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we're gonna to be playing with the new Dior Riviera collection. This is the summer collection. I have pretty much everything in the collection, or at least, you know, shades of each type. I'll explain in a sec. Uh, except for the quad, the Bayard. It's as close as I can get to the French, French pronunciation. It's B-A-Y-A-R-D-E, Bayard. Um, and that is coming. I just, I don't have it yet. So it was made up of, and if you saw the post over on Instagram, I had um, pictures of it. I had, There was two, like I said, two quads. There are two um, satin lip balms. There are two lip oils. There are three nail polishes. And there's a bunch of new, new, um, lip tints. I think they are replacing the lip tattoos. I might have said lip tattoos um, instead of lip tints, but the new ones are lip tints. And uh, the lip tint, I only picked up one shade because I was just a little hesitant. I have very, very dry lips. Um, and sometimes these types of things, when they dry down, can really irritate my, my lips. This one doesn't. Um, I've tried it out for a couple of days. It, it doesn't irritate them. I will say it's not moisturizing in any way, um, but it does leave behind a good stain. And in fact, I have it here on my hand. I wanted to leave it. I put it on the, my hand this morning. I then, you know, did a, it's now six o'clock at night. So I put it on at eight o'clock in the morning and um, basically did, went about my day after it dried. I've washed my hands several times. And as you can see, it's still there. <laughs> These are both the same same shade. So, you know, I haven't used a makeup remover yet to get it off. So I would say that it definitely does leave behind a pigment. It definitely leaves behind a tint. So, you know, that's great. And I would say unless you're unusually dry lips, my lips are pretty dry. Um, I think this is a good product. I think it would work. Um, the only thing I would say is it's, it's not a moisturizing product. It's not it's not, a, you know, even a balmy, it's just a, it, it looks when it goes on kind of glossy, but it dries down very, very quickly. And um, the, the outermost layer comes off um, while you're eating, you know, living your life, doing stuff, but it leaves behind a, a tint, a pigment. And when it's really gone, that's what you're gonna be left with. So there's still gonna be something there which I think is great. Um, so I, I, I really do like the product and I would probably pick up more. Um, you know, I generally, do, I, I can see how you'd want something like that, if, especially if you're wearing a mask all the time. And uh, you know, hopefully we don't go back to that, but I've heard like Pennsylvania's instituting a mask made it, mandate inside again. So there may be times that, you know, or maybe you're just in a profession where you wear a mask and you want to have something left behind. This will absolutely work. And like I said, it's not drying. Um, at least it wasn't on me. It wasn't moisturizing, but it didn't make my lips any worse. The thing that I would say though is my lips are very dry and cracked. And so when I put this on, when my lips were just very dry and cracked, normal situation, they looked pigmented, but dry and cracked. <laughs> so just saying. Um, what I would recommend is doing something, and I have a really tiny one because I don't know what to do with my big one. I think I had it in my purse and I gotta go find it. Um, the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer, the, I have a really tiny, tiny one. And this is one of the few products that has that tingly thing that I said I don't like um, about like the Givenchy and stuff. I, I just, I don't like it. This one though in Dior, the Lip Maximizer, I don't like it. Like I, I do find it, irritating and for any of you that have allergies and stuff I'd stay away from it but I will say that one seems to be less irritating as in it, it, it my lips are tingling right now but then it goes away I don't continue to feel it the Givenchy and some others I, I feel it for a while like for a long time um, this one you feel it for a little while and then it stops and it does I will say it does get my lips to go from dry and cracky to how they look now. So for the purposes of going on camera, I have been using that because it makes my lips look better <laughs> for, for all you guys. Um, even though it, it does irritate and it does tingle. I had it in my purse because I was going somewhere where I, oh, it was my trip. That's what it was. Where I was, you know, I had to be in front of people and wanted to wanted my lips to look nice. So that's why I brought it with me. So 
again, it's not my favorite product because I don't like the dry tingly thing. Um, but it does plump up your lips and it does make them look like less dry and it does look really pretty. My favorite product is the By Terry, the Rose de Balm. They have it in the same type of thing in this like little container, but I ran out of it and I can't, <laughs> I haven't, I keep reminding myself I have to buy more and I still haven't. This is, I've been discombobulated lately, guys. I've got to tell you, my two, my trip, I feel exhausted. I mentioned it. And uh, I also feel like just lately, you know, full transparency, like I feel like I, I've been putting so much work into the channel and all the stuff and I feel like it sometimes doesn't, <laughs> it just doesn't go anywhere. And I'm just like, okay. So I'm just uh, a little off, a little off right now. But anyway, let's, let's move aside from that. Um, Dior. So those were all the things in the Dior collection. So today I'm going to use the Riviera collection on my eyes. It's a really beautiful color story. Um, I have not, I've taken pictures. I have not watched it yet, um, but it's really, really nice. I have seen it on some of my friends. And when I say friends, I mean people on social media who I've never met before, but uh, are great people. I can just, you know, you can, you can tell they're great people. Um, Sherry, Vo Sherry Voyage. Sherry Voyage. Why can't I speak? Sherry Voyage. Um, did a look with this um, eye quad. She's an incredibly talented makeup artist. If you're not following her, you should be following her. Um, but uh, I thought her eyes looked fantastic. I'm using the Dior Air Flash. That's an annoying sound, sorry. Um, and I'm gonna use the uh, Rare Beauty br brush. Have I washed it yet? No, no, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't. Because again, I don't have my stuff together. You know that saying, you have your ducks in, the, in a row? My ducks are, I don't know where my ducks are. My ducks are off living their best life without me because I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's just been that kind of, April is challenging. <laughs> I don't know. This is one of my favorite foundations for the way it looks um, on the skin, but I hate the application. And I think the application is what makes it look so great, but I don't, I don't like spraying it on the brush and then putting it on the face. Cause like, I feel like spray, like little particles of foundation get everywhere. Um, and I know that I think it's Aileen, a March beauty sprays it directly onto her face. I can't do that. It gets in my hair. So I love the foundation and I, I bet the reason I like it so much is the diffused look you get from, you know, this air brush look. I mean, that makes sense. That's why, you know, a lot of people, you know, stars do that airbrush makeup. Um, so I get it. I just, uh, doing it. I just, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what it is about my, uh, sense of, I'm not like a super neat person. I am a very organized person, but I'm not a super neat person. My sister is a super neat person, but the, the fact that there's like foundation flying everywhere <laughs> just annoys me. I don't know. All right. So beautiful finish, right? It just, it's a great, it's a great, great finish. I love this foundation, except for the fact that I have to spray it on my brush. I have it in 104. It's a beautiful foundation. I will continue to use it um, and always will, but I will always complain about the application. It's just going to be the way it goes. Um, okay. So in the um, collection was also, and I, I forgot to mention it, the two new um, luminizers, which I did a video on quite some time ago. So they are Nude Riviera and Pink Riviera, and I'll swatch them again today for you guys and put them with this look. They also look like they have new bronzers, but my understanding is that they're not new. This is Nude, this is Pink. The bronzers are just in this packaging with this embossing on it, this Riviera embossing. Again, Nude, Pink. Um, but the shades are not new. So I'll use the number four today, which is available um, in the, the new embossing. If you don't have it, I would, I would encourage you to pick it up. It's actually a beautiful bronzer and I use it all the time, but it's not a new shade. All right, so let's use the highlighter first. 
what shall I, what shall I use for, I have so many brushes now. I picked up new brushes. Oh, they're not here yet. <laughs> That's right. Those aren't here yet. Okay. Oh guys, I'm telling you, my ducks are off. My ducks are off gallivanting somewhere, making fun of me. Okay. Um, highlighter brush, the KZ. Let's use the, um, let's use the nude first and then I'll use the pink. They're both really light. These are luminizers. They are not what I'd call highlighters. Can those names be interchangeable? Yes, yes, many times they are actually. And I categorize the difference as a luminizer gives a luminous sheen to your skin, whereas a highlighter highlights the, the skin. And my in my definition of those two words, luminizing meaning a lightness, a brightness, and then a highlight to specifically target an area. So they are different to me. Um, although I have seen products named luminizers that I, I definitely use as quote, a highlighter. And I have used highlighters as all over the face. So again, it does depend on the properties of the product, but I see these as either an all over face, luminescent kind of look, or if you're gonna use it as quote, a highlighter in the traditional way of where you target highlights on your face, that it's going to be a very um, ethereal and soft look. Works very well for my um, more experienced skin, uh, but it might not be everybody's cup of tea. Then we're gonna take um, a blush shade called Charnel. This is not new, so this has been in existence, but I didn't have it before. I'll swatch it for you. And I was in a Sephora um, in Charleston, and uh, I saw it and I was like, ooh, <laughs> this is pretty. So uh, I had wanted it for a while. I had seen the shade and been like, oh, that's a great shade, but I hadn't picked it up. I saw it there because it was 20% off. I was like, I'm gonna get it. Um, so this was not on my list of things that I was gonna pick up for spring, but I mean for summer, but 20% uh, off was just a little too good for me to, to turn down. All right, so let's take the KZ02 and put this on the face. Beautiful shade, don't you think? I think it's gonna look really great with this collection. I also wanna mention about blush placement. You know, you see all these TikTok things. Any of you are on TikTok or, or part of that, watching that, You'll see people talk about how the right blush pl placement and how like this lifts your face and blah, 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 blah. In general, that's true. However, it really does depend on your facial structure. And I've said it before, also your preference, where you like to put things and different cultures have different makeup styles. So for example, if you're in Europe, say you're in France versus you're in China versus you're in, in Texas in the US or in Boston, um, there are different styles um, that people tend to prefer. And so there is no such thing, in my opinion, as the right way <laughs> to put on makeup. It depends on, you know, it depends on a lot of things, your background, what you like, um, your facial structure, and then there are guidelines. So in other words, like if there are things that somebody tells you, well, don't do that, it's a bad thing to do, there's probably a reason they've said that, like my my discussion about contour and not putting a cool base contour like here, because you're look you're gonna look like you got bruised. That's about color theory and about why things tend to look more appealing to a human eye. That's a different conversation. Um, I have thought about putting together like a course, like this is how, but right now I just don't have time for that. <laughs> but if anyone has questions, let me know. All right, well, let's take the, um, the pink and let's just put a little bit of that right here on top just to bring it out a little bit more. Uh, in regards to luminizers or highlighters, as you get older, be careful where you put it close to your eye, I will say that, because it will emphasize bags or puffiness or lines, whether it's a luminizer, or highlighter, anything that has, you know, anything that's drawing your eye to it. Um, that's not a bad thing, again, if, you, if you're okay with drawing your attention there, 
that's fine, but just be aware that it will it will do so. If you see it on like some of these people, some people who do their makeup and they put highlighter like right under their eyes, for the most part, they don't have any wrinkles or bags or flaws. Uh, whether that's done with a filter or just because they're very young, I don't know, but no matter who you are, your skin has imperfections. As you get older, this is the area that ages first, so you're gonna see it there first. Doesn't matter, <laughs> doesn't matter who you are. Uh, okay, so let's swatch these really quickly. This is the Pink Riviera. That's the pink one, and this is again the Charnel. And it's not part of the Chanel, it's not part of the collection, but I, I've wanted the shade for a while, I just think it's really pretty, and um, I just thought it would go really well with this collection. And that's the Nude. Nude, pink, Charnel. I don't think there's a tremendous difference, I said this in my video, between the Nude and the pink. I think they're pretty close. I don't think you can tell a drastic difference um, on the face. But I'd also say, I think it does depend on your skin tone and your undertones in your skin. Um, if they show up, you know, more, uh, if you see more uh, difference in them, you don't really see as much on me. I'm gonna take the number four. This is called Tan Bronze. I think it's the middle, middle shade? Light to middle shade of the Forever Bronzers. And I'm just gonna bronze up my face a little bit. This bronzer's a lot more like uh, Tom Ford Terra coolness to it. So I don't really use a contour with it generally. I just use that as my bronze tour. Uh, it's bronzer and contour in one for me. It's when I don't want a particularly bronzy look that I feel like um, it can give the contour and bronze at the same time. So I make it wider. I kind of put it on bigger parts of my face and down my neck. Um, and it works because again, I'm very cool toned and so pale. I believe 04 is one of the shades um, that's available in this Riviera collection with the stamp on it. Uh, okay, so before we get to lips and eyes, I want to talk about the nail polishes. I did not pick up the coral nail polish. I said coral's just, it's, it's a very bright coral that's in the collection. Beautiful, looks gorgeous. Just, I don't, it's not really me. I did pick up Riviera, and I did pick up Golden Hour. Those are the two shades. And Golden Hour, I haven't had a chance to put it like all over my nails, but I did have a chance to put it on one nail. So you could see what it looks like in comparison to like a natural nail. I think it's a beautiful shade. It is Golden Hour. I think it's a very fitting name for it. So if you like that kind of warm golden color, I think that would be right up your alley. So let's move to eyes. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. All right, so let's watch this. Ruining the very pretty embossing. Ooh, that's pretty. These are very much my shades. I think it was uh, Maleva who mentioned in one of my posts that, you know, these are all my shades, and they are. I love coppers and bronzes and golden shades. I just do. Um, it's right up my alley. It's what I like. So this collection, uh, really does appeal to me. It, it is, in general, a warmer collection. The coral shade in the nail polish looked a little bit cooler, but again, I didn't pick it up. But pretty much everything else seems to have a warmer Riviera, being on the Riviera, you know, warm summertime golden kind of thing. At least that's, that's what I'm getting from it. Um, the Bayaud uh, eyeshadow may be uh, cooler, but this Riviera looks relatively warm to me. This is the only matte that I see. These seem to be satins and these are satins. I think this is more of a topper, but honestly it's not sparkly or anything, so I think they're all satins and then this one is the matte. At least that's what I'm getting from it. I don't see any like really shimmery shades in here. Very pigmented so far though, I will say that. Let's go ahead and put a lip oil on while we are doing the eyes. Um, I picked it up in two shades, bronze and 
Was it peach? Mmm. I got it right. Peach. Bronze and peach. <laughs> my, my, my brain is gone. All right, let's do peach um, so you can see. I'd swatch these. I can swatch them for you when we do lips, but they don't. I mean, they have a shade, but not much. I love these lip oils. I really do. I love them. Um, they're so comfortable and moisturizing and they feel, they just, they feel good. <laughs> they just, they feel really good. Uh, anyway, okay. So um, let's put the eye, let's put the eye stuff on, shall we? Okay. Use the, um, some of the Angie Hot and Flashy brushes today because they are available in um, singles. And I really like these brushes. I'm probably gonna pick up I'd say three of the brushes, this being one of them. This is the 503. So I'd probably pick up the 503, the 502, the 504, and maybe the 501 too. They're, these are really good brushes. I find um, they're really easy to use and uh, I just really like these. I, I, think, I think BK Beauty did a beautiful job. All right, so trying to think of what I really want to do with this. All right, let's start with it. Let's start, let's start. Let's start with the, um, the, this middle shade here, this peachy shade. This is a, a satin shade, so it's not the matte, but what I want to do is make this a little bit lighter. If you start with that deep shade, um, that matte brown, it's going to deepen up this look and I actually want to keep this a little bit lighter. The The thing about these quads by Dior in, in my opinion is that they are versatile because most of the time the color story in them allows you to do something very very light with it or to deepen it up. There's usually at least one shade that gives you the ability to go from a what I would say call an everyday look, a softer look, to a dramatic evening look. Or maybe you just like, maybe you're doing something dramatic during the day. Um, so yeah, I, I really like these Dior palettes, um, these quads, and I've been singing their praises for, for quite some time now. This one is no different. Again, it is a warmer color story. If you don't like that, then certainly don't pick it up. But the quality, at least from my swatching it and from me using it so far uh, is that it's the same quality as, as the others. So now I'm gonna take a very, very uh, small brush. This is the 504. And I'm gonna go into that very, very deep shade, the matte shade, and just carefully, and I'm just going a little bit on the outside. Yeah, these are very pigmented. You can see, barely touched my eye and it's, uh, already laid down a bit of pigment. So I'm gonna just blend this in, but keeping it like kind of on this outer side here, I'm not gonna pull it into the crease. Cause again, I'm gonna concentrate the shade on the outside. All right, then I'm gonna go in with the brown satin shade, brown satin shade, same brush. Again, concentrating it on the outside of the eye. Go back in with nothing on the brush. I'm just blending that. So basically I have a, a V, a triangle on the outside of the eye. If you have difficulty controlling like a brush um, to get, you know, like a clear line, I usually clean it up afterwards with a brush and some concealer, but you can also use those strips to put it here and like, you know, you would just peel it off at the end and you won't have to worry about it. Just depends on what you like. All right, so now we're gonna take the peachy shade, not the one in the middle, but the other peachy shade, and I'm just kind of going over the middle of the eye lightly. Yeah, this is a beautiful color story F for me for the summer. Um, I, I love these Mediterranean Riviera, you know, the idea of going away to Europe for, uh, for vacation. If you're, if you're living in Europe, then <laughs> you, you might not think of it that way. Maybe you go somewhere else, but living here in the U.S. That's what I think of. Okay, so now I'm going to use the lightest shade and I'm going to bring it in to this inner corner here. So it's, it is an ombre like effect that I'm going for. The lightest in the 
inner corner and then towards the, the darkest, but I am gonna take that light shade and go over all of it in just a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the entire look with nothing on a brush. This is a, this is a Surratt large brush. I like these brushes, they're very soft, very much like an artist's brush, like a watercolor brush. And I'm just slowly going over it lightly to blend it all together. Now I'm gonna take the yellow shade, I'm gonna use my finger. Oh wow, that looks really nice. And for me, that's what I would consider more of a, a day look. I could definitely deepen this up so easily because all of these shades are so pigmented. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of the nude highlighter. Let's make sure I'm grabbing the right one. No, I'll use the pink, I'll use the pink highlighter. Um, and just put a little bit of that in my brow, just at the, just at the um, apex. Why well, can't, uh, hmm. Anyway, usually I'm good with words. I don't know what's happening to me. Okay, so that is look. I'm gonna take that deep brown though and use it as liner. I'm gonna keep it the liner on the outside of the eye. I'm not gonna bring it all the way in. And let me clean up the outside of my eye. So when I say clean up the outside of my eye, what I mean by that, uh, let me grab a, going along with my analogy about the ducks. <laughs> they've, they've left, ducks are gone. Um, okay, the ducks have been like, we're out, we're totally out. Um, oh, here we go, <laughs> okay. Um, so what you can do is you can take a concealer, you can take a little bit of foundation, whatever, um, and then, just literally, see I'm just drawing a line with the blush brush flat. I'm pulling this out a little bit and then I just pat it in. That's it, that's, that's all I do. Um, if you have a lot of um, eyeshadow fallout, cause some of the, I have to pull my eye cause I'm almost 50. Uh, some of the eyeshadows I own have more fallout than others. Uh, if you have like a ton of fallout, you're definitely wanna, you, you'll wanna clean it up with maybe a um, makeup remover. Like, you know, you've got like a bunch of brown spots or something or gray or blue, whatever shade you used. But if it's just a little bit, you can do this. And then I just go over it with the brush to soften the line because I don't like a really super harsh line. And that's it, super easy, okay. So let's take the deepest shade, the matte shade, use that as liner. This, I really like this. I really like this uh, quint. It reminds me a little bit of the Chanel Mediterranean in the, sh like, in the feel of it, in the shades of it. Um, you know, it's that warm, uh, sh like, it's warm, but, What's what I'm looking for? It's warm, but it's not, um, it's not fall. I mean, you could definitely use it in the fall, but it has more of this, um, it's, it's got like a shimmer to it that reminds you of summer. That I think of, um, again, dating myself with like a Band of Soleil commercial. That's what comes to mind. And if you don't know what a Band of Soleil is or the commercial, look it up, look it up. You'll be like, oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Or you'll think I'm crazy one or the other. Uh, okay, so that's the eye look. I really, really like this uh, quint very much. And like I said, I think I can definitely do something a lot deeper with it, um, but I'm just trying to keep a, like a lighter, fresher look. Um, I can tell you that I would definitely use any of these shimmer shades as a one and done kind of shade. They're all pigmented enough. Um, and I think will look beautiful for the spring and summer and for the fall and for the winter for that matter. But I mean, I think it has that vibe. Okay, um, let me put on a, bit, a little bit of mascara and we'll talk about all the lip products. I love these shades and I really like the quad. The formula is excellent, went on really smoothly, <laughs> easy to use. 
it's it's beautiful. It does remind me of the Chanel Mediterranean, although I think the Chanel Mediterranean is more shimmery and this is more satiny. Um, and I went for a much lighter look, but I you can deepen this out so easily. Yeah, I really, I think this is gorgeous. All right, so excited so far. Um, let's look at the lips. So as I said, the lip oils, I'm wearing the um, peach one. Let me show you the bronze, and I'll hold up the bottles in just a second. Uh, I'll show you the bronze, and then I will show you the peach. I, I honestly, I don't think you're gonna see a drastic difference, um, but it's the bronze. I've already used like a lot of this, and I just got it. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna order another lip oil. Um, I really, really enjoy these. And this is the peach. And they just, I use them so quickly. And they were gone for like a year, which is really annoying. Um, so there's the bronze, there's the peach. Like I said, I there's not, there's not a lot of shade there, guys. Um, but they are very comfortable on the lips. They feel really good. Um, they stay glossy for quite some time, unless of course you're, you know, wearing a mask or eating. Um, this is the natural tea. This is the lip ink. This is what's on my hand, the back of my hand right now, uh, after it dried down and I washed my hands and went throughout my day. So that's what it looks like at first. It's a beautiful shade. Um, it kind of is, it's like a, an orangey brown, looks like Pico, orange Pico tea. Uh, it's, it's really pretty and I, I really like, like I said, I like the way it looks. Uh, when it first goes on, it looks really nice. Um, it, it, you know, it dries down to a tint. Um, it didn't, it didn't dry out my lips, but it certainly didn't help them. Um, I make sure you had on a good moisturizer of some type before you do it. That's my only thing I'd say, because when you put it on and your lips are already dry, it just looks, it looks tinted and dry. <laughs> So I didn't particularly love the way that looked, but um, if you put some type of you know gloss on or moisturizer and you leave that on for a while and then you put the tint over, I think it's I think it's fine. Um, the lip balms, there is bronze and then there is coral. So the bronze looks like that. Again, not a lot. I mean, again, the summer collection. I think the lips are meant to be lighter, bronze and coral. That's how I wear my makeup in the summer. I don't wear a lot of makeup in the summer. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some looks coming up that are like the perfect summer kind of looks, like one and done kind of things, lots of tinted moisturizers and that kind of stuff. But I do like this lighter look on the lips. I don't like a heavy lip in the summer. Because my lips are dry, my lips do feel better in the summer because there's more humidity around here. But I just, I don't like a, this is just me, again, preference. I don't like like a velvet lip in the summer. This is not what I do. So um, the the idea of a tint or a lip oil or a balm is just like right up my alley. It's more glossy lip, you know, that's my thing. Um, so I think these are great. So far I've loved everything in this collection and a lot of that has to do with the fact that Dior did a good job with the formulas. The formulas are all excellent. And also this is my color story. <laughs> These are the shades that I love. So I guess it wasn't a huge shock that I, I would like all of this. So I'm gonna put the bronze on by itself for a second. Um, I want you to see, now I've had that gloss on for a while, right? It's been like half an hour. Um, it, it, my lips still look glossy. I'm not sure how much shade is there, but. So I think the combination of the lip oil and the balm makes a beautiful, plump, glossy summer look. I really like this and I would probably not even wear a liner with it. But I did buy, I'll show you the shade, this is called Brown Fig. Um, Jen from Gl Just Glow Firefly talks about the shade a lot. It's a really pretty shade. I don't know why I didn't have it before, uh, but I didn't. And I think it goes perfectly with all of these shades that I've picked up. Now, it doesn't go as well with some of the corals and the pinks. In the lip ink, um, the tint, sorry, lip tint, 
there are some pinkier, much pinkier shades. I did not pick any of those up. So, you know, maybe it wouldn't go as well with this, but I think this shade is a fig, perfect, like cool brown. So I think you could put it with pretty much anything if you wanted to. The lip tints, I don't know if you want a liner with that. Again, it's, you know, it's aesthetics, but I'm gonna put a little bit of the, the fig on with this so you can see how it would look. I think it all it did is defined it a little bit, maybe deepen the shade. I think if you wanted a deeper look, putting the, the bronze on top of it, for example, uh, let me make sure I'm pulling the right one. So there's the brown fig liner on the back of my hand. I think if you took like the bronze and put it on top, see how you get that? It's a deeper because it pulls from the, the liner. So I think you could do that if you wanted to deepen up one of the, um, the satin lip balms as well, which I think is a really pretty look. But I don't think you need a liner with it. I think it works just fine kind of on its own. Yeah, I absolutely love this collection. Absolutely love it. I, I have to say there's nothing in here that's a fail for me. I think it's all really good. Um, nothing, nothing bad. Uh, you know, I, I would say that um, the, I think the overall aesthetic is a warmer one, but I have not tried the Bayard um, uh, eyeshadow quad yet. I will do uh, a look with that, maybe on Instagram, maybe I'll do a video here. Um, maybe I'll do a comparison of the two, but I think this is just a beautiful look. Um, and as long as you're somebody who's willing to do like a little bit neutral warm or neutral, I think this is beautiful. If you only like cool shades or pinks or blues or greens, obviously this is not going to be for you, but the formula is excellent. I think the, the quad is really pretty. I am sure I have similar shades in my collection, but um, I still I still really like this and think they did a beautiful job with it. I will take a look um, and see what other um, quads might be similar, especially in Dior. And I actually do plan on doing some uh, rankings. Um, I've already done a Dior ranking video last year. I have cl I added more to my collection since then, but I want to do some with Tom Ford and some others. So I'll be looking through my collection to see if I can find something that's similar. I'm sure I can. So, but I still, I still love it. I think it's a very healthy look. I think it's a very, um, I, you know, you could see somebody sitting on a boat <laughs> somewhere, maybe not me, but uh, you know, a big floppy hat and this type of look uh, when it comes to makeup, that's what it, again, band de soleil. That's, that, that's what comes to me. If you're not sure what it is, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's on uh, the internet somewhere. So I think that's it for today for the entire collection. Like I said, here's the um, golden, what was the name of it? Golden Hour. I just think it's a great shade. I will eventually get around to doing all my nails. Hopefully I'll have time. Um, I do like the Dior, Dior formula. It goes on easily, it dries down quickly. I'm so excited to have the oils back, lip oils. And the lip tints for now, uh, I think they're good. Um, they're not my favorite product, but they didn't make my lips more dry, so you know. I think that's a win. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in another video really soon.